Yeah, man. It's your boy, Dragons of Thunder, and I'm back live and direct with a mealworm feeding video. I'm going to talk about mealworms and how they are healthy, especially if your light is perfect. If your heat is perfect, mealworms are safe as heck. Now, before we get started, make sure you guys go to grubterror.com and buy anything on the website using my code, Dragons of Thunder 10. Dragon, Dragons of Thunder 10. All lowercase. Everything's lowercase. Dragons of Thunder 10. GrubTerror.com. Anything on the site. So, anyway, man. We got some mealworms and we got some wax worms mixed in. And uh, we're going to see if Fangy Fang goes for it. Um, so, I'm feeding Fang and Aang some uh, mealworms and wax worms. That guy's running for crickets. So, this dude... Let's see what he does. We'll place him by the worms. See if he go for them. See if he notice them. I think he sees them. Um, he ate pretty good yesterday, so he might not go for them. Um, he hasn't had any protein today. It is about 3 o'clock or 2.40, something like that. I don't know, but... Uh, Yep, he about to go for the mealworms. All right, so I'm going to do Aang next. I have his bowl ready. I'll set it in, and I'll talk to you guys about mealworms. Now, as you all, all know, the myth about mealworms is starting to go away, and I thank God for that because it's a lot of rumors about mealworms. Um, I know a couple of years ago, three years ago, it was a big uproar about it, especially on Facebook bearded dragon groups. I, I was kicked out of like seven groups because of mealworm feeding and bioactive substrate. As you can see, I like a hot side, look like desert, and a cool side that looks like um looks like uh the woodland area. So let's talk about these um mealworms. Um people say the exoskeleton is hard and bearded dragons can't digest it yada 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 but i want i want to challenge you guys to go look go get a cricket pull off a hind leg of a cricket a large cricket larger medium um nice size crickets from like pet supplies plus not them little puny crickets at uh pet smart and petco but the large crickets at petco and pet smart will show you the same thing so go get a cricket Pull the hind legs off, the jumper legs. Pull the hind legs off and bend it and poke yourself with that leg. Feel the leg and understand how hard that leg is on that cricket. The jumping legs, the hind legs of crickets are harder than any super, than any super worm and mealworm. So that's something to think about. If, if your bearded dragon is eating 30, 40 crickets, 20 crickets a day or, or per feeding as a baby or whatever you're doing with your dragon, think about that. That dragon is eating uh, 40 times two. That's, that's uh, 80 legs. You know what I'm saying? 80 cricket legs. So imagine those cricket legs being digested by your beardy. Um, let's look at him and then I'm going to... Uh, then I'm going to go to uh, Aang. So, this is your boy Fangy Fang on deck. Fang was born in uh, the middle of May or the end of May. And Aang was born, I think, May 2nd or May 3rd or 4th or something like that. Aang was. Fang was born at the end of May. So, he's growing pretty good, man. His growth rate is going crazy right about now. Um, at first it was going slow, but now it is powering up, man. This guy is getting humongo. So anyway, man, I'm going to let him uh, get some heat, digest his milly meals, mill worms, and uh, let's go to Aang real quick. So now we are at Aang. We're going to see if Aang wants his uh, mill worms and uh, wax worms. So mill worms are safe. Um, and now let me tell you guys, I'm gonna get my temp gun and show you guys in a minute. Um, if your temps, your basking spot is around one, 
114 to 122. That's where I like to keep my basking spot. Right under, bam, there's the light. Right under on that top spot. I want that top spot to be around 114 to 122. My basking spot. My hot side ambient temperature, I like to be around 105 to 110 ambient temp on the hot side on my cool side between 85 and 93 that's a sweet spot on the cool side a lot of people try to say it's too hot but it's not um i've been doing that for the past two years and it's successful um actually the first year um that i had e-ray his hot side was much hotter and his cool side was much hotter but I figured it out and got everything ran, running good in the garage. It was kind of hard to regulate in the garage at first, but now I understand everything. And I have an AC duct unit, not a unit, but an AC duct cutoff coming into my garage from my main unit. Now, uh, anyway, so if your temps, those temps that I just explained to you, if your temps are perfect, you know what I'm saying? And within that range, your dragon can digest any any worm, you know what I'm saying? Millworm or superworm. A lot of people always talk about millworms and superworms are not possible to digest. They, When bearded dragons poop, they poop them out whole. And the only reason your bearded dragon will poop out a millworm or a superworm whole is if your temps are too low or there is something wrong with your bearded dragon, health-wise. So if your temperatures are up high and decent, like my hot spot, like I said, my hot side and cool side temps, if yours is around that, that range, then your dragon should be digesting their worms. Um, so with that being said, if your temps are up perfect, you need to go get your bearded dragon checked because there's something wrong with your dragon. Um, if the temps are right, man, they can digest mealworms and superworms. Like I told you, go get a cricket, uh, go get a cricket and pull off the hind legs, the jumper legs, and you feel those hind legs. Go feel them. Feel how hard they are, especially the thigh. Go feel how hard those cricket legs are, and you tell me that that cricket leg is softer than uh, a mealworm or superworm. It's not not at all it's not softer that cricket leg hind leg is hard so get your temps up right and um you won't have any issues with mealworms or superworms now i'm about to check these temps real quick and i'm gonna let you guys see 116 on the basking rock 116 118 119 102 ang is at 99.5 his lower rock is 95. And as you go over to the cooler side, it gets cooler. It should be 90 to 90, 90 to 93 is what I like in the middle. And then when you get over to the cool side, his cool side right now, because my garage is up. When my garage is shut, it's around 80, 85, 88. When my garage is up during the winter or fall, it's around 70. So this is still cool this is decent 78 79 up on the uh up on the high so that's still decent parameters as long as that high spot is up around that uh that high mark you good man you gucci it's hard to it's hard to get his hot spot um let's see he's sitting directly on his uh hot spot that i measure but as you can see, 105, 118, 121. It's hot up there. You know what I'm saying? His body temp is around 94, um, 97. As you go down the tree, see? As you go down the tree, it's about 100. Let's see at the bottom of the tree. 92. So at the bottom, 92, we go out to the sand, to the middle of the sand. 91 and also the temperatures are down right now as you can see i i just missed it both tanks so you have water 
on the sides of the tanks and it's water, cold water that just hit the um, wood side, the woodland area. The woodland area is normally hotter, but that water cools it down. When you spray water, it cools down, it cools down the substrate quick. So 77, 79, 69. No, nah, that can't be right. Maybe. 71, 75, 77, 77. And that's probably, this is reading 70.2. Oh, that wood is super duper wet where I was hitting with the 69. So yeah, that, that wood is probably around 75, 74 at the moment. But anyway, man, uh, I keep, like I told y'all, it's UVB. Look at this guy hunting the cricket. It's UVB inside of these basking bulbs, UVB heat. So I have UVB heat and light with my basking bulbs. I'm running the Zoomed uh, UVB basking bulb in all my tanks. I even put Nagas back in hers. So anyway, I got UVB on the high side. UVB in the middle and those dragons are getting enough. They're Gucci. Now hold on a minute. I am using Zoomed Labs Incorporated Pro Sun UV 120 volt 80 watts inside of uh inside of uh Azulas, Nagas, and then the baby boys Zang and Fang inside of uh Naga. Naga's tank, oh, E-Ray. E-Ray and Azula got 80 watts. Naga has 100 watts. It's bigger. It's a bigger bulb. It's at 100 watts. And the reason why she's at 100 watts is because she's closer to the garage door. And so I got to get her temps, keep her temps up. She's broommating. She's been asleep for the past few days. She woke up two days ago, rode with me to the store. Other than that, she's been asleep. It's almost a week probably. So yeah, man, anyway, um, mealworms are safe, very safe. Um, go get you some mealworms and uh, you can feed mealworms once to twice a week. Then you can rotate your supers in two to three times a week not every feeding, but two to three times a week. Then rotate your dubia, rotate wax worms once or twice a week for young dragons, older dragons once a week. And uh, black soldier fly larvae, um, you, can, you can rotate that in two to three times a week. And then your dubia roaches. Um, I do crickets maybe once or twice a month, so. Keep your protein rotated, your greens rotated, and you will have a happy dragon, man. Happy, healthy dragon. Collard greens, turnip greens, mustard greens. Uh, you can feed them daily. Kale, I do once every two to three weeks. Um, so there's that. A regular, you know, it's a lot of stuff out there you can feed your dragon. So stop feeding your dragon the same exact food every day. It's your boy, Dragons of Thunder. Don't forget, go to grubterra.com. Use my code on the site. You can buy anything on the site. Use my code Dragons of Thunder 10. And uh, soon, hopefully, I'll have my code for Fat Jack, Fat Jack Farms. And uh, they have crickets, dubias, worms, supers, hornworms. They got everything. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, I'll have my code for you guys soon. Until we meet again, go follow my Instagram at Dragons of Thunder. <laughs> As soon as we hit, um, as soon as we hit 1,500 followers, I will be doing a four by two by two giveaway, free, and I will be shipping it for free. You do not have to pay for shipping, like the last giveaway. I will be paying and covering shipping, except for Hawaii and Alaska. So, all all USA states except for Hawaii and Alaska. Y'all be sure to thrash like, pound, and subscribe. Go follow Ohana Dragons, Blackthorn Dragons, Legacy Dragons, and uh, go check out Dragon Smart too, man. I love them guys over there. I love what they doing. Y'all be good. Y'all be safe. 
Thrash the like, pound the subscribe, and it's your boy Dragons of Thunder. I'm Audi 5000.